Got this really cool book I think you'll find fascinating. Underground Railroad Sketches by E.M. Petit. So a bunch of little short stories by the slaves that actually used the Underground Railroad. Um, that's pretty cool. You know, I have an employee who would actually think this was about subways. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the book is a collection of short stories about the slaves who actually used the Underground Railroad to escape to freedom. To find a book this old on the Underground Railroad is quite unusual. There are very few titles like this from the uh, 19th century. I'd like to get at least $500 for the book. How much would you like for it? I've been seeing prices in the range of $900 to $1,000. I'd like $700. Bucks. Um, it sounds reasonable. I just don't know what it's worth. I don't know if there was a lot of these books out at the time. Do you mind if I have someone take a look at it? Because I don't know. I like this. I see McKinstry signed it. McKinstry was the editor of the newspaper that originally requested this memoir be written. Oh, OK. In fact, Pettit here, Eber Pettit, he was a major part of the Underground Railroad in Fredonia, New York. And he didn't decide to kind of sit back and write about it. Instead, it was McKinstry who pushed him and said, we need to have a record of what it was like for these slaves who were escaping the South. Did he interview? The slaves? Well, yes, Pettit would talk with the slaves at the time, and then he would report stories. And in that way, it's very much a documentary record of what the people were going through. Is the book in good shape? I mean, is this a first edition? This was a pretty small printing. It was printed in Fredonia. So there aren't that many copies. It's a it's very unusual book to see, which is kind of exciting. Um, as far as these types of books go, it's not in horrible condition. OK. The big question, what's it worth? I think it would be completely fair to price it around $12.50. <sighs> Can I give you 500 bucks? I mean, it, it, books aren't like gold coins. They sit around for a while. They, they really do. It's, um, I don't mind leaving something on the bone, but that sounds like quite a bit. Uh, you know, so what she said, I'm thinking more like 1,000. Well, you came in here, you only wanted 700. I thought it was a thousand dollar book. <laughs> <laughs> How about six fifty? I'm thinking eight hundred. I'm a person who rarely gives what people are asking on the first try, but I will give you your original asking price of seven hundred. Then you know, seven hundred bucks sounds good. I only paid two bucks for it. <laughs> All right, good for you. Huh? Let's go up front. I'll uh, I'll write you up. <laughs>